for striking the measurement, uh, so you use this bottom edge of the Branton. It's either this or this edge, and you can also use this top edges. But don't use the whole surface, don't stick this whole surface on the plane, uh, just use the edge. And we want to hold our Branton horizontal because we want to find a horizontal line contained by the plane and then we'll read uh, orientation of that horizontal line uh, relative to north. That's what we are trying to do. So when you hold Branton, I always hold mirror closer to me and this arm will be uh, pointing out uh, away from me. So in this case, you um, put your Branton, place your Branton on the surface and you can see this edge is just this edge is touching to the plane, not the whole surface like this, not the bottom of Branton, just this edge will be sticking on the surface. Now you can tilt your Branton up and down uh, as long as this line is still in contact with plane, you can tilt it like this, or you can rotate your Branton right at this angle around an axis. So we want to find a horizontal line. So the bullseye level, the circle should be in the center of this yellow color bullseye level and as this edge of Branton is still on the surface. So if I tilt my Branton a little bit like this, now you can see this ball's eye level is um, leveled. So that means my Branton is horizontal. So in this orientation, because this layer is now dipping to the right, uh, as I align myself parallel to the strike of layer, it is now dipping to the right. Based on right hand rule, if plane is dipping to the right, you can read uh, strike azimuth directly from northern tip, north tip of the needle. There is uh, two sides of needle marked as N and S. So N is north and south is south, S is south. So if you have a right plane dipping to the right, then you read strike azimuth from north tip of the needle. In this case, if I level my Branton again, it is, uh, it is 040 or 042. So numbers will be two digit you can add one zero to the left uh, because it's 40 degrees now. I will make it three digit for strike and make it 040 in my lab uh, report. So it's gonna be 040. For, and then don't lose this horizontal line, this strike line, because you will need this strike line for dip measurement. Dip direction is always perpendicular to strike, right? If I pour some water, it will flow in this direction, right? So that's the dip direction. So I need to measure, I should measure dip angle in this direction, in the direction of dip. So dip angle will be basically this angle between plane and horizontal or plane and table. So it's a vertical angle like this. So you hold your Branton perpendicular to strike line you, uh, you, you just found and use this whole side, either left or right side of the Branton, put it on the surface now on the back of Branton, there is a, a short arm like this. If you move it, you will see this barrel shape level will move inside Branton. And there is also another bubble inside this barrel tool. If, if this bubble is in the center, that means um, your Branton is aligned parallel to the orientation of that inclined structure. So now if we put our Branton on the surface like this, perpendicular to strike line, I will move this back arm and until this bubble in the kilometer is in the center like this. Now you can move your Branton, it will not change dip measurement. Inside the Branton, there's a full circle. We use this full circle for strike and trend measurements. And there is a half circle inside the Branton, at the bottom of Branton. Um, between north and south direction. So we use this half circle for plunge and dip angle measurements. So, and then you can see this kind of wedge shape, uh, triangular shape uh, tool measurement window with two 60s and a middle line in between. So you use this middle line to read dip angle of the bedding plane. So at the end of this middle line, you can see dip angle is 30 degrees. So that's the dip. For this case, you record this measurement as 040 or 042, uh, separated by comma and for, uh, 30 degrees. That's the complete measurement of bedding strike and depth. For trend and plunge, 
Uh, because uh, because silicon lines are linear features, they are lines with two dimension. All you need to do is align your Brunton parallel to the line, uh, hold your Brunton parallel to the line, and, and then take a bearing. Uh, basically, still you have to hold your Brunton horizontal. Uh, so in this case, we have to put this bubble in the center in ball's eye level. Uh, and if this uh, bubble is in the center, now I can rotate my Brunton 360 until it aligns the side of the Brunton and arm aligns with the orientation of linear future. So hold the Brunton horizontal and rotate your Brunton and make it parallel to this linear future. The whole side and this arm will be parallel. Now you can read a uh, trend of this line in the direction of plunge because this line is plunging this way, right? So this is the direction of plunge. So you read the trend of this line in the direction of plunge and read it from uh, this side, north uh, tip of the line uh, needle in this case. So that's the trend. Plunge measurement is easier, so use the side of Brunton. Put your Brunton parallel to line and use this back arm and then level uh, level uh, level clinometer like this. Something like this. Now you can read uh, trend, a plunge of this line from half circle. Uh, it is in between 260s. It's like 50, uh, 48 or 49. So this is how we measure plunge and trend.